adventure is necessary. It's what we do. And that makes us human. So what if there were no places left to explore? What then? There's a fight going on right now involving some of our national treasures. One of the worst feelings in the world is having to turn away, back down from a fight you know you can't win on your own. Well, we're not going to do that. There's about three different locations I think we're going to send people out in. The big shooting range will be off-road. There are ruts, there are hidden obstacles. Um, just be very aware of your surroundings. On top of that, it's a warm day out in the desert. So we are out here in the Joshua Tree BLM land that is just north of the National Park. Kingston, who is at Roaming Lost on Instagram, sent out a few months ago, uh, no, maybe eight months ago now, uh, a random cleanup event that we had about 20 rigs come out to, and we came out to this location. It was actually during the uh, government shutdown. On the first one, Joshua Tree National Park was shut down, and so um, kept on seeing the news and like people saying, that's so dirty. With the following I had, I figured, post on Instagram, get a group of people to go out, and they showed up and it was a good turnout. It was like about maybe like 20 or 30 cars maybe. People not cleaning up their trash was where, where it started and that's where it's gonna keep going. So it's never ending. As, as outdoor travelers, folks that go off the grid, we have a responsibility to take care of our public lands and that's a huge conversation. I will see, say that I have seen the conversation grow in the last few years and that is awesome. We want it to be top of mind for everybody, but really the reason a lot of these volunteers are out here is because our end goal is to have it be so self-evident that we need to take care of our public lands that it doesn't become a conversation because it's just what you do. My name is Chuck. I'm from La Mirada, California. Right Rotor Island Bound member, 11967. Right on. Thank you guys. Right on. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, tell us why you're out here. <sighs> kind of give back to the community, yep. pick up after people that aren't picking up after themselves. Mm -hmm. I love the outdoors, so um, to be around like-minded people like that uh, is awesome. And you don't you don't need the truck at all. You can, there's like there's a VW right there. There's a Prius right behind you. It's like we're all here for the same thing, and that's 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 the best part. You're doing some real work out here. Yeah, we're trying a little bit. What'd you guys find? Oh, just a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of shoes, surprisingly. I don't know who's shoes. walking around barefoot all the time. But. <laughs> Overland travel is vehicle dependent travel. And that's it. And we don't go much beyond that because adventure is for absolutely everyone. You know, we get so high tech and we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day rat race, we know we all do that you gotta break away uh, at least every once in a while and, and find that connection just to be healthy, happy humans.
One of the biggest things that our community has the power to do is the fact that when we go out and camp into these very remote locations, we're able to pick up you know, larger pieces of trash. I think some of the coolest things about this community is the fact that we have people from all over California that have come to this event. Not only just California, I just learned this morning that someone from Florida drove all the way here because he used to come camping with his dad in this area and he saw this uh, cleanup event on some of the Overland Bound forums and decided to drive all the way out here in his camper van. We come out here and we've got a couple of 40-foot containers that we're going to fill with garbage. That's going to be about 16,000 pounds of trash. And if you look at it from one perspective, that can almost be a little demoralizing because we're going to do that in a couple of days. And we know, given the vastness of what's out here and the amount of trash that people have thrown out here, that we're just putting a small dent in it. But Really, beyond what we do today, we like to spread the word because we want to put it in other people's heads too. We want them to think, hey, when I go out there, I got to leave it better than I found it, and that's my responsibility. So that's really what we're trying to do. like to come and camp here and you know hang out clean some stuff but if they want the GPS coordinates you know I think we should you know we'll have them right yeah. down here in the bottom yeah because this would be a great camp area they can come and and an easy place to come yeah. see and, and, and do some good yeah even if it's one bag of trash exactly yeah so that's a that's a really good that's a really good point it can seem overwhelming but heck if everybody does a little bit then we're going to make a huge dent. Exactly. So come on out here with the GPS coordinates uh, and uh, grab one bag of trash. Make sure that bag is heavy duty. Yep. And wear gloves. <laughs> Woo! Amazing day today. Good day today. Good day today. A fantastic day. It was, it was, it was hard work. It's hard work. Uh, get out here at least uh, once a year, if you enjoy the great outdoors, the first resource I'm going to mention is Overland Bound. We have a land use area in our forums. We also have something called the Trail Guardian Program. We've got over 20,000 members worldwide, and any one of our members can create a trail cleanup event. When they go out and they find a place they can't clean up themselves, what they'll do is they'll create a Trail Guardian event, and it will invite other Overland Bound members in the area to descend on that location put boots on the ground and clean it up. And that's really what this is all about, is actually getting boots on the ground and picking up a shovel. So you can do that. There are also resources there about proper land use. But beyond that, I'm gonna to say to get involved locally, most of your local clubs are going to know about proper land use. They're gonna be glad to educate you. Organizations like Cal Four Wheel Drive here in California, they advocate for off-road use and they also educate. They're also out there putting boots on the ground. So get involved in the community and you're gonna find that the very next step is information on proper land use. So, so just get involved and do a little bit of digging and that's the first step, is just to go out there and find some information. Uh, thanks to Roaming Lost and uh, to Lost Sasquatch um, for all the, uh, all the organizing that they've done and, and of course to the community for all the hard work um, uh, at, this, at this event. It's been, it's been fantastic. Now we're going to socialize, get a good night's rest, head again tomorrow.
I'm probably wrong. But did I see your truck hauling a, something big out of the desert, like another car or something out of the desert? It's a Chevy Blazer. <laughs> So you haul a Chevy Blazer out of the desert. It's uh, the uh, <laughs> Carfax said it was had four owners so far. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I've unloaded. Did you get that? Did you? No, I, the camera's totally not rolling. Awesome. You're good. You're totally safe. Thanks, man. Yeah, it won't make the cuts at all. <laughs>